Okay, a parallel plate capacitor is fully charged. When an insulator is ins inserted into the space between the plates of the capacitor, the energy stored in the capacitor decreases by 73%. What is the value of the dielectric constant of the insulator? Okay, first of all, dielectric constant, what is it? Okay, uh, dielectric constant. Okay, is it the is it the E or is it the E R? Uh, which one? Is it E or E R? The dielectric constant. Ah, go back to our notes. Okay. Uh, e if E it is called permittivity of dielectric material. Uh, but E R is dielectric constant of relative permittivity. Uh, relative permittivity or dielectric constant. So dielectric constant is not the is not the E, but it's the E R. E is permittivity of dielectric material. Okay, the E over here, yeah? C equal to E A over D. The E over here is not dielectric constant. It is permittivity of dielectric material. E R is the dielectric constant. Uh, e R huh? because E equal to E R E not. So the E R itself is the dielectric constant. Understand? So, ah, this one you be careful. It's not the E, it's the ER only. Yeah? Okay? Uh, yeah. So, okay. Another thing is, he say initially this capacitor is already fully charged. Now you insert an insulator. Insert an insulator. So, energy store decrease. Uh, energy store is. Uh, U, uh, energy stock, it decreases, yeah, decreases by 73%. So now, um, what I can say is this, okay, so you need to, for this one, you need to know which, which situation, okay. I want to ask you one thing, yeah, do you need to check this first. Is this capacitor connected to any battery? Is it con still connected to any battery? It's being fully charged, I know, it's fully charged. But is it still connected to any battery? No, he didn't say it's connected to any battery, isn't it? Uh, so I can say that uh, this charge never changed. This uh, capacitor is like disconnect from battery. Uh, so if disconnect from battery, there's no additional charge go into the capacitor. So the Q is constant. Uh, because the you cannot flow out from the capacitor and also no additional charge can go flow into the capacitor. So I can say that if you insert any insulator, if you insert any insulator to the capacitor, the charge is always constant because this capacitor is disconnect from battery. Uh, you need to say you need to know this first. Yeah, this capacitor is this this is the case of disconnected from battery so uh, this capacitor is alone this capacitor is alone is fully charged okay it's fully charged it has the charge and because it's disconnected from battery because it's disconnected from battery so i can say that uh, the q is constant ah this is the thing you must know first okay the charge in the capacitor Cannot go anywhere. Cannot go anywhere. If you insert an insulator in the capacitor, the charge in the capacitor still always constant because it cannot flow anywhere. Cannot flow out of capacitor. Cannot flow into the capacitor. Okay. Uh, so no additional charge from outside can go into the capacitor. So I can say the Q is constant. Now you insert an insulator. That means in actually this is like insert dielectric. Uh, if you insert an insulator, insulator is actually dielectric. You insert a dielectric into the space. So uh, now the energy stored uh, decreases. Okay. So uh, if you look at these nodes, if battery is not connected to the capacitor, the charge is constant. If you insert, you see, like insert a dielectric, the energy stored is decreased. Ah, correct. Yeah, it is. This uh, question is uh, 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 what uh, is uh, corresponding to my notes. 
Uh, yeah, indeed, the energy stock decrease. Uh, do you see that? Uh, energy stock decrease. So it de this energy stock decreased by seventy three percent. Okay. Uh, the Q is constant. Yeah. Now, how to do these questions? Okay, so you need to compare before and after. What I can say, you can com you must compare before and after. Ah, uh, okay. So before before insert dielectric. Okay, before insert dielectric. So it is. Uh, I can say it is vacuum. Uh, this is without dielectric. Yeah, without dielectric. So I can say uh, the E is E naught. Okay, uh, it, or you can say that it is C naught. Now uh, before insert dielectric vacuum, it is using C naught. Uh, e naught A over D. That's a formula for capacitance. Now if you insert dielectric, insert dielectric or insulator, uh, it becomes C already. It becomes C equal to E A over D uh, and somehow we know that E is E R E naught uh, is a uh, dielectric constant multiply E naught uh, so it becomes what it becomes uh, it becomes E R E naught yeah the E becomes the E becomes E R E naught and uh, A over uh, A over D uh, and then you can further, uh, further, you know, this E not A over D, you see that? This E not A over D, E not A over D is E not A over D here. So it's C not. Uh, so I can say that uh, this C is E R multiply C not. Ah, okay. Uh, e not A over D is C not. Uh, I substitute C, C not over here. So after you, after this is a uh, happen after. Uh, okay, one right. This is you. Uh, after after you insert dielectric, uh, C become C not. I don't know. I mean C not become C. Okay. So I can say that I can say that the the capacitance increases. Okay, capacitance increases now. Uh, how about the charge? Uh, how about the charge? You need to compare before and after. Huh? So how about the charge? The charge is constant because um, the the charge cannot flow anywhere. Yeah, the charge uh, uh, cannot flow cannot flow from anywhere. Uh, so I can say uh, the charge is constant. Okay, uh, the charge is constant. Oops, charge of this is equal to charge of this yeah uh, all right uh how i'm going to uh okay so this is a uh, uh, so equal uh, the charge is equal um okay next is uh okay next is uh, energies uh okay the charge is constant the charge is constant okay okay let's look at the formula for energy store because i don't know how to work from here so i look at the formula for energy store first yeah what's the formula for energy store formula for energy store you have a uh, three yeah you have half qv uh, half cv square and half q square over c which one are you going to use uh, which one are you going to use ah about this statement you look at here this energy store decreased by uh i can say uh decreases by 73 percent what i can say is uh, you can do like this yeah you can um make a statement about energy store okay between before and after okay so before it is um Okay, this okay. I just want to put this one as green. <laughs> okay, before it is uh, before before it is U you can put as U one. Okay, U one. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, 
Okay, I can say that before it is U1, yeah, before you insert dielectric with, with a second, yeah. Uh, yeah, hold on a second. Okay, I okay, let me uh okay, let me explain like this. Before you insert dielectric, you can say the energy store is U1. After you insert dielectric is U2. Okay? Uh, I can put this as green color, okay? Okay, and then he say energy stored in the capacitor decreases by 73%. Ah, be careful with this statement. He said decrease by, decrease by, uh, decreases by, it's not decreases to. Uh, there's a difference by, the, the difference of decreases by and decreases to. Ah, decreases by 73% and decreases to 73%. Yeah, energy stored. What's the difference be between uh, decreases by 73% uh, and decreases to 73%? Ah, so uh, I can say that uh, decreases by 73%. That means what? how much it left? How much it left? U2 is... Uh, U2 is, if decreases by, if decreases by means you minus 73%. Uh, you minus 73%. So, it left with 27%. Uh, so, it's 27% of U1. Uh, this means by decreases by, decreases by 73% means it left with 70, 27%. If decreases to, then it is the the final the u2 is on is 73 percent of u1 ah uh, that's the difference be between decreases by and decreases to okay uh, this one is decreases by means you minus 73 percent decreases to 73 percent means it becomes 73 percent okay uh, so okay so this question is decreases by that means you minus 73 percent so it gets 27 percent so I can say that uh, the U2 has become has become 73% of U1. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. It decreases by, it means you minus, isn't it? Uh, decreases by 73%, decreases by 73%. That means it minus 73%, so it becomes 27%. Uh, become 27%. Okay, so... Uh, I can say U2 is uh, 0.27 U1. Uh, I make it decimal form. Uh, U2 is 20, 0.27 U1. Ah, okay. So good. Now, okay. Now I can I can uh, work from here. I can work from here. Yeah, this one. Uh, this is important. Uh, make it. Uh, this statement is important. So I can work from here. Okay, so how I'm going to start, yeah, working from this one, uh, yeah, I'm going to continue. Um, okay, I can use what formula? Uh, the Q is constant. So Q is constant. I better uh, since he say Q is constant. Uh, Q is constant. So I better use a formula with Q. I better use a formula with Q. Uh, this half C V square don't have Q. I uh, don't use. Okay, I use half Q V, half Q V, or half Q square over C. But I don't have the V, isn't it? I don't have the V. Yeah? At least you use one with a constant, lah. Yeah, so it's either half Q V or half Q square over C. But the thing is, you don't have the V, isn't it? You don't have the V, but you have the C. You see that you have C naught and C. Ah, so don't use the half Q V also. Ah, so use this one. Half Q squared over C. Understand? Uh, that's how we do it. The questions. So half Q squared over C, you can find the you can find the yeah. Uh, the important thing is the C over here. Uh, okay. So we're going to use this formula. Yeah. We have three formula for energy stored. Uh, first thing is we look at we have the Q, yeah. Choose one with the Q constant. Okay, Q constant. Okay, we have the Q constant. And then uh, we have the C also. We have the C. 
Uh, so, so this one lah, Q square and C lah. Understand? Use this one. So, okay, substitute this into this formula. And then continue, yeah? So, U2 is, U2 is a uh, half uh, Q square over C, C, uh, okay, never mind. Just put this as number 2. All is number 2. Half Q squared over C for number 2. Okay. All this is for number 2. And then uh, 0 0.27. U1 is uh, uh, same thing also. Half Q squared over C. All this is for number 1. Understand? Uh, okay. So, uh, 2. Uh, 2 is means for this one. Uh, this is the case after 2 is for after insert dielectric yeah understand two is for uh, after insert dielectric one is for before insert dielectric ah uh, one u1 u1 is before insert dielectric one two is uh, after insert dielectric lah okay after insert dielectric two okay now uh okay then we substitute uh then we substitute uh this is um uh, half Q squared over C so it become half okay this Q is this Q is uh, constant so you just put as Q lah, because it's constant yeah Q squared over uh, C uh, this is for 2 uh, for 2 after insert dielectric so C2 is actually uh, ERC not uh, is ERC not uh, we put as ERC not Understand? Ah, uh, okay. ERC not. Ah, uh, so the C over here become ERC not. This is. Uh, I can say this is the. This is the. This is the C two. Yeah. This is the. This is the C one. Yeah. Remember ah. Uh? C one. C one U one. C two U two. Yeah. Okay. So this is C two. C two is uh, C. Yeah. Or ERC not. Queen. And then uh, after that we have uh, 0 0.27 uh, half the Q is constant uh, Q is constant so it's just Q and then this C1 C1 is C0 uh, C1 is C0 okay C1 is C0 put in the C0 there uh, see that okay I can cancel all the common yeah the same thing I can cancel uh, cancel cancel uh, the Q squared also cancel, cancel. Uh, what else I can cancel? Ah, uh, C not also can cancel, cancel. Ha ha ha. Okay, so it left with uh, 1 over ER. And then this is what? Uh, this is just left with nothing left. Just 0 0.27. Okay, so 0 0.27. Okay, ER is, okay, invert. This one you need to invert. So it becomes 1 over 0 0.27. Which is equal to ER is 1 over 0 0.27, which is equal to um, uh, 3.7 uh, 3.7. That's the answer. Okay, 3.7. Is that uh, is that the answer? Yes, that's correct. I got the answer. Okay, 3.7. The answer is 3.7. That's the answer. Uh, that's the answer. Okay, uh, that's the answer, 3.7. I got the answer. My working is correct. So that's how you solve the questions. Okay, very simple. Okay, uh, that's all. Bye.